Jeez. Oh shit, that's this is Khaled. I didn't know that was him. Unburnt the ah, oh, that's funny. Alright, let's do his last legion. The Romans are restless in their graves. I hear them every night in my dreams. Their whispers are insistent. The ancient Romans, child. Legionaries of the Roman Empire. We get all sorts. They were part of a crumbling empire, worshipping a dying god. Deus Sol Invictus. The unconquered son. <laughs> the irony. As Constantine christened Rome, the cult was dissolved and they scattered. The most zealous fled here to this valley to unite with those who shared their beliefs. The servants of the Aten, the sun god. It's no coincidence that they both worship the scorching sun. Remember this, it might serve you in the future. We were blessed with fortune. It could have been the end of everything we know, of this world and others, but instead, our enemies failed. Thanks to the Maria and the Sentinels who watch over the hidden city of Artem, the Sun Worshippers were destroyed, and a cataclysm was avoided. The few who survived fled south, but their dead were left behind. With the new dawn of Aten upon us, their bodies rise from the earth to join the Dark Disciples and their Black Pharaoh. The Romans are restless, and they must once more be stilled. Homemade potato skins. Get to Slap. it. Slap. That's what I made for lunch. Now, what, are you not used to being told what to do, child? Go. Go, 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 go. Ah, uh, my tailbone. Nice. Oh, God. I thought I was going to fall back. Nice. Nice. Unburnt bush. Quick you know what? I'll pick it up. Updated. Not now. My brother, he likes to put on a show. <clears throat> we have a complicated history. But we've learned to coexist in relative peace. Me as a restless wanderer, him as a bothersome spirit. That is where our paths diverged, my brothers and mine. He escaped into death, while death has escaped me. The awful thing about immortality is that it tends to go on and on forever. You'll see. This is not the first time Egypt has been struck by Mephistophelian misfortune, I'm sure you know, although it's only been written about the one time. Chalk it down to experience. We did get better at covering things up as we went along. As is always the case, there's much to learn from history. The books of the past may contain word of the future. That was one of the tenets of the Four and Sixty. Our ties were severed long ago, because they claimed I was too close to those I was supposed to silently observe, that I cared too highly for mortals, as if this was an inexcusable weakness. I've gotten better at it. For example, I could have simply shown you the way, but I shall not. Instead, I might simply mislay my staff where someone could accidentally retrieve it. He might be, honestly, he might be. Activate the staff. Follow the path illuminated by the staff.
Oh, okay. Examine the altar. Activate the staff. Out of time. Uh, hold on. So confused how this works. Yo, what's going on, Delta? Wait, so this is uh the, the on the altar is Arabic and didn't even laugh at my joke. <laughs> Sorry. I'm I am trying to figure out. <laughs> Text on the altar, okay. I see, I see. Okay. Now I get it. Oh God. I was, yeah, I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, which one's which? Uh, so this is basically Secret World Legends. Um, it is a examine the stone tablet. Interesting. Activate the staff. Um, it's basically an MMO set in our world or the real world, uh, but it has a very story heavy uh, missions and things like that to it. So right now I am actually part of the Illuminati running around looking for these artifacts in different areas of the world 
And yeah, that's that's pretty much what we're trying to do. We're trying to find these artifacts and bring them back to uh, the Illuminati. Wonder if this is the right way, maybe? No? Follow the path illuminated by the... Oh, here Special we go. Special assignment this way. received. Initializing. Um. Oh, there's another one. It's hard to tell with all this fire everywhere. Like, where am I... Where, are, where do I go now? Um. All the path illuminated by the flame. Spirits of flame. Am I supposed to go to this one? No. So I follow this. It's all people or were those some monsters? Those are some like, some sort of monsters. Oh, here's the altar. Okay, here's the next one. I see. How am I supposed to know what the hell? Arabic symbol. How am I supposed to translate this to to Hebrew? Without looking it up, to be honest. Okay, so the next one is this. Activate the staff. So then it's going to be, in reality, I basically would not be able to know this. There it is. It says hail. And that's why I just hailed. Examine the stone tablet. Activate the staff. The last one said blood. Uh, yeah, it's a, uh, well, not ancient language, but it's, uh, at least in this area. Wait, where is it? Extinguish flame spirits. Okay. I can't tell where I'm supposed to go because there's so much other fire going on now. Do I go this way? Yeah, okay. Abandoned huts. What? Oh God. It's gonna be like giant cocoons. Here's the next one. Arabic symbol. Grab this lore here. Okay, so the next one is going to be, this one says locust. So it's going to be five, three. Ah, it's the seven plagues. 
or however many there are. That's what this is. Activate the staff. Arabic, not Arabic. <laughs> Am I saying Arabic or am I saying Arabic? I thought I was saying Arabic. You say Arabic? Ara Arabic? To be honest, I haven't been putting that much thought into it. Wait, what the hell? Why is it dark? No, you are saying Arabic or Arabic? Uh, nine, seven. This one says darkness. Ah, that's why it was dark. Congratulations, broker. That makes sense. It says darkness. Congratulations. I leveled up once again. Follow the path illuminated by the staff. Oh, there it is. What's this one going to be? Like, famine? Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god, the firstborns of Egypt. <laughs> it's all the firstborns. Oh no, they're level 50. Oh no. Oh god, I have to solve it before they get to me. Can't see the other person's text. Yeah, that's cuz so I am I stream on uh Twitch, YouTube and Facebook. Uh so they show on in the corner on the screen, but you won't be able to see their actual text. So the other, uh, Ali, which is the other person in chat, that right now he's on, uh, or he or they, or sh yeah, uh, are on, <laughs> uh, on YouTube. So yeah, she. She is on YouTube. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, come on, I'm trying to get can't get over here. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go the normal way that I should go anyways. And just go to the road. I was using Twitch, but I wanted to sub, so I use YouTube instead. I appreciate that too. Because it does help. Uh, the one thing with YouTube as well is that it helps uh, the discoverability on there, even though there not really is a lot. But if somebody is looking on there um, on YouTube, then it, it does help that. I appreciate it. All right, use the staff quick. Uh, it's eight or 10, eight, go. Examine the stone tablet. Wait, you know what's funny? In the first one, I'm, I'm following a step because, like, otherwise I would not be able to do this at all. But. Darkness for three days. Death of the firstborn was the last one. Huh. 
it's actually pretty cool. Like this is where it's it's uh it's neat. Activate the staff. Serpent. There goes the serpent. And there's that. Go on YouTube. Hey, it's up to you, Delta. I mean, if you want to come to YouTube, that is uh, fine. If you want to use on, on Twitch, hey, whatever platform works for you the best. Personally, just in my personal opinion, I think that because of the uh the tools that youtube offers it's it's getting better but twitch is still i mean when it comes to chat and emotes and all that twitch still succeeds um but when it comes to transcoding transcoding is available on all streams on youtube so if i don't get offered transcoding when i start a twitch stream if it's buffering and things like that and it doesn't work switch or swapping over to youtube will work because youtube automatically has transcoding for every single stream so therefore you get that whole um uh you get the you can go any frame rate or well any resolution which is nice not talking uh, on youtube so i just watch sounds good use whatever whatever platform works for you for the best i mean either whatever one really doesn't uh bother me if someone says hey what platform do you want me to watch on i would recommend youtube but if somebody comes from twitch and they prefer twitch stay on twitch so whatever platform works for you for the best it's completely up to you and I'll, I'll always remain with that. Same thing with I get I get people from like right now you guys are from YouTube and and Twitch. Every once in a while I'll get like a few people from Facebook. And I say the same thing, whatever platform works for you for the best. I mean, like if I was going to stick to one platform, I would stick to one platform, you know? So, and I, I stuck to Twitch for a very, very long time. And although I'm no longer a Twitch affiliate, I still choose to stream on Twitch because I know it's the number one for when it comes to live stream content. So. My goal is to be as much uh, as as much places as I can be and still provide the same experience on each platform as I can. So, yo, what's going on, Angelo? <laughs> I hate you too. I get that too. Everybody has their preferred, preferred platform. <laughs> I mean, I found you on YouTube, but I found you're streaming on Twitch. That's pretty funny. Actually, that's, that's cool. Yeah, I remember you said, uh, Al, you said that you found the, uh, uh, my, one of my MMO ones, I think. Or no, no, you saw, uh, no, Ready or Not. Yeah, that's what it was. And then you saw the RPGs, and then now you're here. Can't talk to it. Yeah, that's where... It sucks. I mean, I would like to be an affiliate again on Twitch, but I just don't like the exclusivity on it. So So there's that. It sucks cuz I I do miss out of uh like emotes and other stuff. Uh, because I'm no longer an affiliate so like I can't add my my twitch emotes or anything like I don't even get the follower emotes and I have some made I mean I was able to upload them onto YouTube but like I said it's still YouTube still is missing some core features that twitch offers 
besides the transcoding part. So, investigate the temples by the cliff. I think YouTube's going to have a good year so far, though, um, because from what it sounds like, they're adding in a lot of, like, apparently they're going to be adding in uh, raids and uh, gifting memberships and other core things that, like, Twitch has had for years and years. So. Luckily, there's that. Let's get the temples by the cliff. <laughs> oh, you're really approaching best Tier three of breed every in day. Sector. Nerd. Did you JK, love you all. <laughs> hey, thank you very much, Ali, once again. Cha ching Why you're not affiliate is because you stream on other platforms. Yeah, so I was a Twitch affiliate for like three years. Um but I canceled my so you can like on off board. From the affiliate program uh when you become an affiliate on twitch you're essentially assigning a contract with twitch saying that you will stream on that platform for 24 hours like if you if you stream your content on twitch is only going to be on twitch for 24 hours um so you can't be on any other platforms people still do it regardless um, and there's a lot of people that still do it anyways, but I wanted to kind of take the right way of doing it. So I, I off boarded from being a Twitch affiliate. So that way I could be on other platforms at the same time. Yeah. And the only reason that Twitch does that is because they want to keep everybody on the one platform. Um, Affiliates, by far, is, and it's kind of crazy, but Affiliates is Twitch's biggest money maker. Because, number one, if anybody pays any type of money to Twitch, they do not pay out the affiliate until they reach $100. Most people that become affiliates, they get money within like the first few months. And then they never, they stop streaming because now they're like, okay, I hit affiliate eventually, or they take a break or life gets in the way or whatever it is, they stop. And that's essentially free money that Twitch holds onto from everybody. By far, affiliates is the biggest way that Twitch makes all of their money, but they still make a lot of money from, from like the top tier people. They're, even though they're taking a less percentage, they're still making so much. So yeah there's like two to th i i forget what they somebody put out the numbers recently but there's like three million affiliates so like with that amount and they're taking 50 percent from every single one of them i don't know if that's just as much as like the top 10 streamers on twitch like it could be even if they don't pay out like the full 50%, like that's a lot. So, so yeah, I wish, I, I wish they didn't have the, uh, the exclusivity cause because if they didn't, then I 110% would, would be one again. Um, cause there are some very cool features, especially nowadays that Twitch has been adding. Uh, that that is really cool the follower emotes the sub emotes have gotten better ads things like that are, are getting better i hate to youtube as a viewer not as a streamer just uh because of the absolute crap vids that they keep putting on my front page i get that um yeah, it can be, it, uh, there's definitely some stuff like, no algorithm's ever gonna be perfect, but even I get a lot of videos, like a lot of times where I'm like, I would never watch this. But then uh, the one nice thing is like, YouTube's number one thing in their algorithm is your watch history. 
So the more videos that you watch, the, the stronger the algorithm is going to get. And then it's going to try to suggest more videos close to whatever your most previously watched video is. Not going to get that every time, but it tries to at least. They are really good at, at once you've had like a substantial amount of videos watched, they can get a lot better at it though. Um, the biggest problem it comes to streaming on YouTube though, is so like no platform has really figured out a way to, to uh, promote or like show live streams. Like it is basically non-existent on finding low viewer live streams on Twitch, unless if you get, or well, not low viewer, but it's, it's easy to find that, but it, it's like near impossible to, um, to get discovered on Twitch, unless if you're in the case of you're the only person streaming that game, then of course, yeah. Topic of anime, you should watch Akira. Well, you told me it seems like you like that the most. I have always heard really good things about Akira. Is that a movie or um, uh, or da, 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 a show? Ever watched the video language speaking before? A uh, Russian video, constantly get vids re recommended, same as Chinese. Yeah, it's sometimes it, it can be weird. I, I don't really understand it, <laughs> but Nah, trust me, I, I get videos too where I'm like, what, the, what is this? The show, it has movies too though. I think I know, is that the one with the red motorcycle? Don't get me started on how to speak English videos. <laughs> oh God. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of know that one. I've always wanted to watch it. Stop whining. You're fine. You are perfectly fine. Trust me. <laughs> I enjoy these, uh, these conversations. Constantly get ads in Spanish and Japanese. I think it's because it hears me speak, speaking that in my household. Might be. <laughs> uh, I always get ads in, in Spanish, but I think it's because my my name, Casas, because uh, a lot of people with that name think it's Spanish. I'm like, I don't even speak Spanish at all. My dad speaks, speaks it fluent, but I do not. Uh... We need to hit 38. We still have a few levels to go. Or missions to do. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I guess we can start out by going over here, right? I mean, that's where we kind of came in at. Or maybe even over here. Yeah, I get some weird, uh, weird stuff on YouTube sometimes. Um, here, if I go right now, what does my homepage look like? Yeah, so like I watched F2 videos on like Project Zomboid and now I'm getting like shown a ton of videos on Project Zomboid. I watched one video recently on VR headsets, so I'm getting tons of those. Um, uh, then there's like just video game theories, Star Wars theories. My homepage right now is actually pretty good. Like it's, it's pretty on par with stuff that I would watch, but I've definitely have those moments where like, um, it does that. It's crazy how no one really thinks about the devices are listening at all times. And sometimes I've noticed the last four years, um, 
Yeah, depends on... I think what a lot of people don't notice is that... Uh, wait, what is this? What type of mission? I'm gonna pick up this. I don't think that all devices are listening at all I times. I think there it's more so right what now. you text Here, and what you search. As we speak. This um, feeds information to the cultists. But then even then, sometimes it doesn't make sense. Brave. I don't I was know. Too trusting. It gets I weird. Never have okay. Anyone but, Maria. but I'm I'm at the point where I don't care even for if they are, like, good. fine. You have done good things if they're for listening, us. all right, give me an ad for, one like, of Cairo's trade princes a special us. on... Here, I'm just going to skip this one because I'm not even listening. Now I'm just going to do the mission anyways. Um... <laughs> I've, like, even if, even if they are, like, at this point, I have a cell phone. Everybody has a cell phone. Um, there's so many apps that are like, would you allow us to track your data or, like, your search history, yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, at first, like, I'm kind of like, no, depending on it. But whatever. Like, there's only so much we can do. When YouTube first started, you could watch a video and you wouldn't be able to, in, in, uh, with vids on the same subjects. Good, uh, since Google took over, it's all gone wrong. Yeah. It goes here and there. Uh, go to the restaurant where Shani had a meeting. Find a way inside. In days where I've not touched my phone at all, but I've had it on me talking about diapers. My sister and the moment I go into anything it shows me ads for diapers that I've never next there looked at anything yeah that's where I know it gets so the one thing that can happen too though at the same time is it'll use your household so although a lot of times like so here's one some one thing that happened um, when I was living at my parents house my dad got really in, into uh, uh, what's it called? Sorry, drawing a blank right now. Uh, motorcycles, not motorcycle. Well, yeah, he got into motorcycles, but he also got into electric bikes. Uh, and the second he started like searching them, I, on my YouTube, I started getting tons and tons of ads for electric bikes. And I was like, what the heck? But yeah, I don't know. Some things aren't explainable. I'm just trying to say, hey, maybe it was using this. But no, nah, there's that. I mean, they've done it in the past. So like, who knows that? Especially in nowadays, who knows when they say that they aren't and they still are. I mean, just look at me. I'm playing as an Illuminati right now <laughs> in a video game. <laughs> we have eyes everywhere. Find a way inside. <laughs> Talk to my NSA agent all the time. Oh! oh my god. Right, let's try that again. <laughs> does it actually work? Wow, it does. Look for clues. Oh no. Uh, bottom floor camera. Go, go, go. 
hack the computer. Oh no! Got it. Go! Go to the meeting point. I feel like I'm the only chat like person in chat. Depends. It comes and goes. What do you mean, like, chat, like, oh, you mean, like, like, uh, I think I know what you mean. Find a way to the roof. You know, I've tried to go to this, this roof so many times. You mean somebody that says, like, like, knows the emotes and, like, you know, gets the, uh, the untold chat, uh, what's it called? Etiquette. Like F. F to pay respects and all that. Like almost the the reticate, but the chat etiquette. If that's what you mean, I know what you mean. Correct. <laughs> Ugh, come on. Hey, it's all good. I appreciate it. The chat a kit. <laughs> I really don't know how to get up here. I've tried so many ways to get up there before. Unless if there's a way up this way. I mean, there might be a way up here. Actually, this might work. Maybe. God. Would you prefer I not be like chat? No, be much. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I actually prefer that. Um, it's hard. So, it's hard getting more people like that because I feel like a lot of people that do find small streams, it's like, uh, which it's fine. I mean, there's there's people out there that that don't type like that and that's fine like i do my kick w's every once in a while i also do a lot of lurking a lot of lurking um so i i know all of the like you know back and forth of all that um i really can't figure out how to get up here so no <laughs> no i i actually appreciate it because I, I feel like that's a, the, in all seriousness, the chat kit that we are speaking of is a very, like, well-known way of interacting with live streams. And, and that's one thing, that right there is a big thing that YouTube does not do well at. Because a lot of people don't know of, like, the the you know the etiquette of chatting in the live stream it's not like there's some crazy moral code like you must chat xyz and thou thou does not chat in this way i don't know i don't know you know what i'm trying to say like there's no none none of that but the big problem with youtube is a lot of people don't know that and most people that are like you know ingrained in in twitch do because like it's so so common in every single channel that it's like it, it's hard to kind of get that <sighs> i i think i finally see a way how to get there 
think I need to jump up there, then cross that thing, then go over there, then I'll get there. But now I'm trying to figure out a way how to get up here. Here we go. I mean, I was, uh, I'm not supposed to drop the F-bomb, but I'm not on Twitch. True. But yeah, that's it. That's actually a huge thing. Um, issue with, with YouTube by itself is that they, they don't, you know. Oh no. Wait, wait. Help, help, help. I made it to the roof. All right, you gotta die quick, man. You gotta die quick. You gotta go quick. Go quick. I'm gonna die. You're gonna die. We're all gonna die. Oh! <sighs> Some streamers are, are super strict on chat, and I don't like that. Yeah, same. I there's I mean there's a certain point. Um, <laughs> like Pokemon. There's a certain point of it, I think, but I, I'm like kind of back and forth. So happy she got banned. I'm kind of like, I don't like it really when anybody gets banned for the most part, but yeah, I just try to be a nice guy. For me then again i watch a lot of xqc every once in a while every once in a while so i go all over i'm all over the place that's <laughs> the ssc or scc oh my god i can't get to my body <laughs> wait actually this, this is gonna work out because my body is up there so when I do get to my body, I don't have to worry about fighting these enemies or hiding from them because it's going to work out. Jesus. The Illuminati is nothing. The Arten is everything. You will never defeat us. Will never defeat us. All right, let my health regen. And here we go. Yeah, I don't like being like, well, I've never really had the chance, or had the, not the chance, but the uh, requirement of being too strict on chat. Like I've never really had to do too much, but. But yeah, I'm never going to be like too much as long as people are respecting each other and all of that. It's really all I care about because at the end of the day, like I'm literally playing a video game, having fun and interacting. So like there shouldn't be any, you know, issues with that kind of stuff. Hello. And if there is, they get the boot. Like I'm not even going to bother. I'm just going to be like, all right, peace. Boop. Adios. Nobody wants you anyways. Goodbye. Have a good one. But I, I've, it's like rarely, I've had like one person ever that severely was like being weird. And I was like, okay, you're done. Goodbye. And even then it wasn't like, it wasn't anything like crazy bad. You're done. Oh shit, this one's 15 X 15 K? An uneasy alliance. So what are you? Red team? Blue team? Green team? You're on the same team. Blue team. 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 Uh. You know who I work for, so let's cut the bullshit. We are not in this together. I forget. You and me will never be friends. They're and being the just like when I will have this gun pointed at your rude. Head. And I will pull the trigger. I forget exactly what they said, and I don't even remember their like Lucky username. For you, that day is not quite here yet. 
But I was kind of like, okay, adios. The snakes. The All right, some of these people, I'm just like, give me what you want as a job, and let's go. Mm. Find one of our pet pythons. Oh, there it is. The band hammer, exactly. Follow the snake. They got to take, um, once we get to a good area for this, I'm going to chill for a second because I think my doggo needs to go out. So I'm going to take her out. <laughs> what time is it six o'clock we still got a good amount of time for today two at eight i well actually a little bit before eight I'll, I'll have to hop off but it is almost 6 p.m Oh, the wisps of energy. The cultist souls. It's nice. It actually gives me an icon to follow. Follow along. House of rest. Prevent the cultists from completing the ritual. Well, I'm assuming that's the Ritual master. Aha! They can no longer perform the ritual without an altar. And prevent this one from completing that. Move deeper into the cultist camp. I like that you stream during a decent time for me. It's hard for me to catch the other people's streams. Yeah, I, I know that feeling. Um, I mean, I wish I could stream at this time like more often, but it's really only uh, weekends. Yeah, timing is a huge thing, so I, I totally get that. If I ever, you know, if I ever went like full time, like with streaming, I mean, we're talking probably years down the line, unless if some magic thing happened, if like, if ever, um, but if I ever did like full time, something like that, like I 110% would have almost like a two times a day schedule, like where I'd get on in the morning, probably play like almost follow like a co-carnage schedule. If you know who that is, um, he gets on in the morning and streams like for four or five hours and then he takes a break get some lunch for like an hour or two or does whatever he needs and then he gets back on in the afternoon and then streams through the uh through the afternoon slash like almost night that's kind of like the schedule that i would probably have um if i was like doing it every day so that way like first part of the day would either be a main game that i'm focusing or like something like that and then second part would either continue that or go into uh, an event or whatever the case is so but that's the one thing I, I love about my weekends right now is like I don't have to really worry about anything else at the moment so I dedicate my my Saturdays and Sundays to to streaming and then today I had off 
uh, because of work. So. So yeah, it's nice for that. Nice indeed. All right, we need to go back over here. Besides the fact I like your personality and gameplay. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, number one is timing. Number two is game games and personality, I guess. Sure, personality. Uh, okay, I need to take my dog out real quick. So I will be right back. I might eat a little something too, because it's like kind of dinner. Um, it depends. I'm like if I I would say I'm like for me like do I don't know? I don't really don't know a whole lot, but I do. Uh, sub to some streamers. So, like right now, like really the only sub I. The only stream I sub to, like, concurrently is Lyric, actually. Like, I watch a lot of Lyric um, when I do watch streams. But, yeah. Are you a don't Or for my chat? I mean, I don't mind donos. <laughs> for me, at least. Uh, but, yeah, I don't... I mean, I don't care. I personally... I think it's really fun when there's text-to-speech and people are using it like concurrently i think that's a lot of fun like i see that in other streams too um because it can make for some very con funny or conversations or like really whatever the case is so i don't mind it and, it, and it's actually good when the chat is very very active for me since i don't have like a super like it's not like every second there's a new line you know so, um, but yeah, all right, I will be right back. Give me like two minutes. I'll look them up. All right, I am back. So let's pick up, uh, I guess the next, next available quest to keep leveling. Leave the restaurant. A little bird told us you're in close proximity to a known Phoenician agent named Tarnis. We've been trying to get information on her for a while. She's deeply involved in what's going on in Egypt. We need you to get as close to Tarnis as possible so we can patch you into her conversation. We'll be using some off-the-shelf thaumaturgy here, so we won't be able to hear anything on our side. Take notes. Quick access inventory updated. Okay. Totally out of my hands. My contact goes AWOL. The trucks carrying the crates are stolen and... We operate under the radar. You know this. If we didn't think you could do the job, you wouldn't be here. We make do with Wait, that guy looks a lot so like me. Do. The question is... Why are you still talking to me? Why are you still alive to make excuses for this total fuck up? I wouldn't be much use to you dead. I put tracking devices in the crates. I know where they are, but- So let me see if I get this straight. Some of the most dangerous artifacts in existence are now in the hands of cultists who want to blow everything and everyone to hell. That is the gist of it, I guess. You guess? You guess, my ass is in a sling, and you guess. Take care of this. Get our merchandise back. You don't want to have to explain yourself to anyone above me. I will take care of it. Don't worry. Oh, shit! Tune the tracker to find the crates. Radar module frequency. Activated. These missions for this location have been pretty cool so far. Item located. There it is. Cover the first artifact. Oh my god.
How do I recover that? What the hell? Second frequency. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's probably going to be like right there. In the tracker to the third one. Radar module activated. Extinguish the flame spirits. How do we do that? Just destroy them, I guess. Ah, oh, that's definitely it. I think the third artifact's over here, not over there. What's over here? Who's attacking me? Nobody. Radar module activated. Ah, oh, there it is. Item located. Module activated. Okay, now I think this one's that one that I was looking at. Item located. Yeah, this one is. Got it. Go to the last one. Local bounty detected. Initiating. Oh, 
on to the next. Nice. Kingdom number six. And this. Herald. Stop the Herald. Stop right there, or I will kill you. Go to the Council of Venice encampment. Deliver the artifacts before the liaison leaves. Where do we deliver them at? Oh, there it is. Oh my god, I got max ability points again. Really? Jeez. Well, at this rate, next thing we're going to need to do is unlock a new ability. Glyph reward. Oh, wow. We're getting a lot of glyphs now. Talisman, talisman. He yeah, has so many now. <laughs> Evading, hit rating, critical hit, critical power, hit rating, evading, defense. What do those do? Uh, they give me basically a, uh, like an, a little bit of a stat boost. Not a whole lot, but a tiny amount. So like this guy, confuse that. Then this one probably has an empty slot. We'll use this. And then I'm level 35, so I should actually have enough for the uh, buck talisman and whatever the other one is. I'm actually going to go on to the market and look for each of those. Buck talisman search. Go by price. Jeez, some of these get expensive. Whenever you invade an attack, whenever you critically heal, invade. I'll buy this one. 
Where are those other players? Or are you just PvE right now? Um, there are some other ones. They're very rare. Um, so from my understanding, the area can only go to 15 people. Or I mean, 13. So it's very, very rare when you actually see other players. Oops, search. We do see them and we have seen them every once in a while, but it's not every day. Review purge a beneficial effect from an enemy or interrupt an enemy's ability. Increase the chance the enemy's next attack will miss. Buy this one. Um, I don't know if there's actually a uh, PvP or anything like that. Actually, a good question. I'm not 100% sure on that. Now that you say that. Let's open up all these, or as many as we can. We're doing some quick upgrades here. Okay, weapon upgrade first. Let's get this to 20. Oops. Nice. Wait, did that say max level? Oh, the glyph is at max level, not the weapon. This like increases our uh, our weapons level or like stats a little bit too. Once you get these to 20, then you can combine them with another level 20 and it essentially levels it up uh, to the next tier. So like now it's, it's blue, but I think the next one would be like, uh, actually I don't know what the next one is. Purple? Maybe? Might go from blue to purple. And then like gold. But it, that takes a while because you have to stack on top of stacking. I was, ugh. Gonna be a bit for that. So your gameplay is so cool because the only games uh, you play games I've never heard of before and maybe would never have found. That's kind of like what I like doing too. Is playing games that like either you know some people might have never heard of or never would see um, or sometimes like uh, I like playing games that like there's small communities of that like people search for but it might not be like every day you know so because I kind of play the these games that are a little bit more like niche, even though like somebody might, might not be watching it right now. Later on, if somebody does go to search for it, like on YouTube or whatever platform it is, then at that point it would be like, since there's not a lot of people that play it, um, there's more likely for them to see mine, you know, so. At the end of the day, I'm always going to play what I find is the most fun or, or might be engaging, but it also kind of works in my favor for that too, because either I can show people games that they never would have seen before, or maybe somebody that does know of the game wants to see more of it or see somebody else play it, they can do that too, so... That's where it kind of gets pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Let's 
one has an empty glyph slot, slot. Evading, evading. Hit rating, hit rating. Use. And then, grab this symbol. Okay. Okay. I think we're good here. All that. Because I'd rather you be happy to do what you want on stream and then give in to chat. I've seen some streamers lose stream because chat always wants them to play something else. Yeah, and that's, that's the one thing, like, I know technically for... For somebody that wants to go grow their stream, the best thing you can probably do a lot of the time is play one game. Stick to that game and continuously play that game because then all your viewers that do start watching you they're gonna watch you and you're you know Thanks so much. uh over and over again and granted that's great but then it makes it really hard for like say if i if i played apex legends like seven days a week and then dying light 2 comes out and I'm like, oh, I want to play Dying Light 2. All those people that watch me for H Apex Legends are going to be like, when are you going back? When are you going back? And maybe I'm having a really good time. Then it's going to be like, well, I'm not going to watch you until until then. So, yeah. That's one thing I always tell myself. I I can play games for a week or two, but like I'm always, 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 no matter what, going to be jumping around from game to game. And that's that's just always been my play style and probably always will be. Yeah, exactly. That's a that's a big thing too. I mean I have streamers that I watch that like there's some games that they play and I'm just like like personally for some of the people that I watch when they start watch playing uh, like Counter-Strike I'm not a big Counter-Strike fan like at all uh, and a lot of the times I'll kind of take a break from watching them during those times but that's that's just because I, I don't really like that game um, I can technically still watch them playing it, but a lot of times I usually don't. Only if I'm like really bored that day and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna see like, how's it going in this game? Then I'll do that. Are these guys all level 50? I think they are. I mean, we're almost level 50, which is good. No! Honestly, if your streamer plays something you do or don't like, it should just be coincidence and not design. I don't think that makes sense. I, I think I know what you mean. You know. Like, if you don't like a game, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know what you mean.
fire all of these like level 50 enemies. Is this a level 50 mission? No, this is level 33. Like I'm not a God of War fan, but I still watch you because you're funny and your content is just good. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so like Hanson is like that. Like I think that's where it's like, it's good. And like this, like you probably, I guarantee, guarantee, like, I don't know. None of, none of the bigger streamers that you probably watch would have ever, 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 ever played this game. So that's kind of like another one of those where like nobody's playing this game today because this game is on the verge of like, there's less than a hundred people playing it at a time like i don't know how much longer this game is going to be around um but because of that though the small community members that are still like playing it they i've i've already met a few of them in this game like during my time of playing it I don't know how to do this. They're all level 50. I don't, I don't, I don't know. They're level 50, but like, I'm right here. I'm right next to them. Please. I don't know. Wait, how do I get back over? Spawn me at a different location now. How am I in combat? Living nightmare? I'm in combat, but I'm dead. What? They can see my dead body? Your body is close resurrect here. I wonder if there's a way there might be a way I can like distract them. Which yeah, 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 there is. God. Hold on, let me let me let myself heal. Shit, dude, what the hell, man? I W. Bro, what the hell? Leave me alone. Please tell me I'm almost done this sabotage. These sabotage missions can be rough sometimes. I still have another three levels I need to get to. Which kind of doesn't make it easy. Yo, what's going on, Wayne? How's it going? My attack ability just started again. Why can't I just do this? Without... Damn it. I really don't know. I'm I'm gonna look up this one. F four. Activate the forklift to draw the the uh workers away. How am I supposed to activate the the forklift if I can't even get there? Oh, 
Are you kidding me? Bro, are you kidding me? Are you... You're joking. Oh my god, I'm just gonna die right next to the forklift. I'm giving this like one or two more tries and then I'm giving up this mission. Oh, these like spirits can actually see me. Your anima has weakened from exhaustion. Okay, I'm literally gonna be right next to the forklift. If I can't do this from being right next to the forklift when I spawn in, then it's really just not worth doing. Okay, it looks clear. There's no guy around the corner, right? Jesus Christ, dude. Are you ki I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, this is a joke. This is a crude joke. Oh my God. I literally got stuck. I can't believe that. Out of everything. I hit the forklift. I got attacked by the dude, but then I got stuck. This guy is invisible too. This guy gets me every time. F. Major F. All right, I'm giving this one more try. Literally final try. Don't get it this time. I'm not doing it. Not worth it. Wasted too much time. I'm just gonna do it right now. Activate forklift, running over here. They better run over there. If I don't get it right now, this that's it. All right, we got it. Somehow we got it. This is why I went for one more try. Oh my God, look at this. These are actually my level. <laughs> Easy dub. Not so easy dub, but nonetheless, a dub. Oh my god. We actually made it. We actually made it through that. Oh my god. And now I'm being chased by a seeking mass. Seething mass. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm dead. My life. Oh my god. I've gone this entire game literally perfectly fine. 90% of it and now I'm just dying like left and right I'm not even gonna bother going back to my body because that's just not worth it jeez ah okay well those are done once again um do we have new people to meet somewhere do you like ESO it's my favorite uh, MMO yeah I like ESO I haven't played it in a very long time at some point I'll, I'll go back to it again um, I always like them because uh, the, the story but then I also really like how like an ESO when you reach max level 
it continues um like whatever your previous champion score was it remains at that and then also the world scales to you i i love that i think that's really cool I haven't played in a while, though. One second. I know, I loved it. Uh, I could do dungeon runs with my friends who were maxed when I was new so they could play and have fun. Yeah, so like that that kind of stuff is, is great for it. I loved it when they added the one Tamriel area to, or like, uh, you know, how that worked. Uh... I'm just looking up like uh for leveling. One sec, I'm still looking up stuff. Double. Okay, I don't really see any other like people up here, like vendors or people. See if we untoggle all these. Like there's some of these little missions, but 
I think we've done all of, like the character missions. I can go back to a different area. Technically. What happens here? Let's go back to King's Mouth Town. I haven't been here for a bit now. Or to see how much XP I get if I do like one mission from a contact here. Okay. Namaste. Three thousand XP. Oof. Now you are a sight for sore eyes. Well, at the same time, these are level nine missions. We try going to Blue Mountain. Ooh. Okay. Let's go over to this, this lady across the bridge. Last time she gave some decent missions. Yeah, honestly, I, I love him most. That's one thing uh, I've always been like very passionate about when it comes to like multiplayer online games, even though I'm like not the most socially uh, in games. Like I don't I don't really talk a whole lot to a lot of people in game, but I just like love seeing other people running around. Even if we're not like fully interacting, it's just so cool. I don't know what it is, but especially when they have a good story and like group content like dungeons love that stuff it's always a good time to me all right 5k and this one pick up this oh god <laughs> them in the laptop Miss Original WoW is uh like WoW Classic like is that not good enough or like just like original original WoW the community was great and the game was fun yeah I feel like a lot of people do search the bog for CDC members there's one right here I missed uh, Star Wars Galaxies. That was one of my, my favorites back in the day. I remember when I found out about that game and then when I actually started playing it, ah, oh, loved it. Same thing with, um, oh my God. I we You know what we need? We need more superhero games. Even if it's just like generic superhero stuff, I don't even care because we need more. Like, we don't have enough. We need... I used to love uh, City of Heroes and Villains back in the day. Like, that was such a fun game. Robbing banks with randoms. Like, it was so good. So great. Stop playing after Myths of Pand Pandaria. Gotcha. I, I've tried so many times to get into WoW. 
I've just reached my point where I'm I'm done with WoW. I probably will never play it again. Like ever. It's just it just has never been. I've tried literally like three or four times, and every time like I see gameplay of it, I'm like, oh wow, like I kind of want to jump, try again. And it just never, it never like fully clicked with me. But WoW has its own issues nowadays anyways. Yeah, it's rough now. It's very rough. <laughs> Less sweats. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's run. I think I started today's stream at level 26, and now here I am at level... Uh... Level 36. It's actually kind of funny. OG Destiny was fun too. I've I've been really wanting to kind of actually go back to Destiny. Possibly even like just start from scratch. Um Yeah. Destiny 2 at least. Miss when that game came out. Yeah, I really liked, I really liked Destiny. One of those like solid fun uh, FPS games. One thing I've been wanting to do for a while is like go back to some like older first person shooter games and like replay the campaigns. Like I've been wanting to do that with uh, like the Call of Duty series, um, like Modern Warfare, Black Ops, World at War. Uh, same thing with like Wolfenstein. I wanna replay those games. Um, really like whatever comes to mind. <laughs> Some of those, those campaigns are, are really great. All right, let's see. Do we still get the decent XP? Eh, it's okay. We're going over here. Bungie doesn't play. They did great with Halo and killed it on Destiny. Story made no, re no sense, but the gameplay was solid. Yeah. I I was kind of like... See, I try getting into the story, but then I'm like, sometimes I can't. Welcome but I still like Arkham. enjoy it and everything, so it's still like good. For the most part. Okay. I don't know. I feel like I'm like slowing down with leveling so much. I'm gonna go back to this place again. Do I just like go and do side missions? Like, I guess. Guess I can pick up every side mission I run into. Modern Warfare 2 will always be perfect campaign multiplayer. Best COD 10 out of 10. Yeah, a lot of people really like it. Like them. I've never really been like a, well, I was at one point a Call of Duty like multiplayer person, but like, like I said, like I can never stick to one game, so I, uh, I'm always all over the place because of that. 
Angels and Demons. NKXP. Thanks so much. How am I? You know what sucks? I have to go through two levels just doing random missions like this. That's where this is. This gets me. Not like I'm just I'm just doing like some missions. I have to go through two missions. I just don't like doing some of these like I guess our only option is to really just do this. I didn't examine a, a plethron sign that offers more info about the firm. At this rate, too, I'm kind of just like skipping the side mission stuff. New moat pog. <laughs> Do you have uh, the better Twitch TV emo or well extension installed or uh, or YouTube? Or like animated emotes and stuff? Lethron. Locate and enter the Plethron office. It's locked. I'm not, but I, I still know them all. Yeah, they added uh, functionality with it now. Here, jump here. Just as a forewarning, I'm probably gonna have to hop wall. Not probably, but I am going to have to hop off here soon. Wetheron director. What's the password? Got that tape fixer tonight making dinner. Nice. Two one five eight. Gold bug. Maybe it's gold bug. <laughs> 
Nice. Ah, oh, you know what? I should have said hint. What is it? Gold bug. I thought it was gold bug. Surname is the common in classic literature and my my surname is a common in classic literature and my clearance level is the key. Huh? Glass. Gold bug. Last gold. Huh? My surname is a common in classic literature, and my clearance level is the key. Gold bug. Last gold bug. What the hell? How would I ever figure this out? I would never know that. I There's no way. <laughs> what? It was 305. The password is the director's surname glass. In encrypted form, the encrypted form is written in the short story and also cited in the Wikipedia article. 305 parentheses ending parentheses end. What? The gold bug that's an Edgar Allan Poe. Oh my god. Never would have gotten that. Never, ever, ever. Thank god for game wikis. Thank god for that. Okay, at the shipping warehouse. Which is... That way. Right there. And I aggro them. Access the surveillance footage. Hopping off. Have a great night. Thanks for awesome stream today. Love the streamers. 
You better do some work and have a good night. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks so much, Allie. Have a good rest of your stream, or, well, night, day, whatever it is. And uh, I almost said have a good rest of your stream. <laughs> but thank you very much. Have a good one. Uh, I'm going to be hopping off here once I finish this mission too. So it's all good. But thank you again. I'll be back tomorrow night as well with some more of this, hopefully making some more progress. So yeah. Thanks again. Have a good one. Access the crate. Okay. I know you're watching. I'm watching too. The Puthron director was not my first day out of this unless you want me to be a martyr. Nothing can stop me now. 13. Oh boy. Oh boy. He knows. He knows. I know. We know. They know. Oh no. Okay. All right, chat. I'm going to jump here. Ah, okay. So this is where I'm going to pause for today. Uh, we'll see about tomorrow and how, how much further we can get and things like that. But as always, thank you guys. Uh, I am going to chill and uh, get some other stuff done. Um, I probably won't be on for the rest of tonight um so we'll be back tomorrow picking up right here and then take it from there thank you guys as always uh twitch youtube facebook twitter that's where i'm at uh cast this plays on pretty much all of them or cast this play and yeah all right good night have a good one see you guys next time peace